So I got this new DJI Pocket 2 camera and I figured I would try it out in making a quick video about some of my health changes since being in Mexico. Um, I really like this thing. Jean has one uh, and I wanted my own because I, don't, I just didn't want to keep having to switch back and forth between the two of us and now I have my own. So I am going to be using this to do my vlogs. Um, about my life here. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Alum um, from Our Exes Life. This is a YouTube channel with my husband, Eugene, where we share our life here um, in Mexico. Mexico is not our uh, forever place it just happened upon us uh, we've been in Mexico since June of 2023 so that's what like 10 months um, and I've gone through a lot of health changes over the last 10 months some have been very quickly others have taken this much time to reveal themselves uh, I have a list over here that I'm gonna go over, uh, so bear with me. Let's get started. The first one is a 30 pound weight loss. I can't even tell you how that happened. Well, I guess I could. Um, it happened because we walk everywhere, for one. For two, um, the food is a lot better here. It's a lot fresher ingredients, what you're eating. We are eating everything. I am not dieting, but I was 200 and about nine to 15 pounds in the States when we left. And right now, today, March uh, 23rd, I think. Yeah, 23rd. I am 183. I don't know what you can attribute that to, but I know that I haven't been that weight in at least six years. <laughs> we are still eating all of the foods that you could possibly eat. Um, we're enjoying breakfast, lunch, and dinner, dinners out with friends, um, potlucks, all of the things. And I've lost that much weight, which is great. I'm happy about it because it wasn't something I had to actively do. It was something that just happened and happened in the course of living life here. And I'm really, really, really happy because I feel a lot better in my body. Um, the only downside is now I need to buy more clothes because the clothes that I moved abroad with don't fit. What a problem to have, right? Uh, the next thing is um, when I was in the States, I was severely anemic to the point where I had to have a transfusion because my iron was so low and that created very abnormal cycles. <sighs> the cycles, my cycles were so bad that there were days I did not want to leave the house because I just knew I would be having an accident out in the world. So I would spend those days at home and most of the months the last two years it was upwards to like 15 to 20 days out of the month I was on my cycle within the first 30 days of being in Mexico my cycle normalized hi everyone um, I forgot to add that I was on track to get a hysterectomy in October of 2023 but since my cycle corrected, that is no longer my journey. I started having a normal cycle, which was beautiful. Um, I can't even explain to you how relieved I was to finally feel normal again. Um, but it didn't last long because I wanna say around September, October timeframe, my cycles kind of just stopped and then by December 
I was having hot flashes. So that's the next item is menopause. I developed menopause since I've been here. Um, I'm kind of young to have menopause. I'm 46 now, but so it happened when I was 45. My mom didn't develop menopause until she was in her 50s. So mine, I think, was related to the fact that I have hyperthyroidism and my hormones are completely out of whack. And here I am now. Um, I am like in the early stage pre-menopause, perimenopause, menopause. I'm in some sort of pause right now. Um, what my friends like to call my personal summer. I have fans throughout the house. Um, <laughs> multiple fans, multiple fans in my bag, in the bedroom, because when that hot flash comes on, oh, it is unbearable. Like completely unbearable. I absolutely loathe it. Oh, it's the worst feeling. I wouldn't, well, I would, I would wish it on my worst enemy, but I wouldn't wish it on you. Um, the next thing, well, number four, weight loss, normal cycle, and menopause are the first three. Number four is endurance. Um, my endurance has increased. Walking miles just about every day or every other day, naturally it increases your endurance. And the only reason why you're walking miles is because you're walking to this place, stopping, walking to the next place, stopping, walking to the next place. And then by the end of your afternoon, you're, you've ended up several miles away from home. Of course, you can catch a taxi or catch the bus back to the house, but sometimes I like to walk home because you get to find new shops, new places to stop. Like today, I went and met Tracy for um, the Saturday market and we went to lunch. And then I walked home, I stopped off at another market, got some incense, got some incense holder, stopped off at a restaurant for some um, lemonade to for my walk home, stopped somewhere else and got some flowers. It just kind of like, multiplies and then I walked the rest of the way home worked out great I think I did like 12,000 steps today already and I don't feel bad I don't feel like I did some sort of heavy workout I feel just refreshed granted the walk home started to feel like really winded just because there's a huge hill to get to our house and I took that hill because it was fully shaded and that was, uh, I was winded, recovered quickly, but that was hard. The last item on the list is mental health. Um, surprisingly, when we first got here, uh, my mental health kind of took a dive. I think it's because we weren't really integrated into the community here. We didn't know a lot of people and just kind of getting acclimated that aspect um, in the beginning was kind of hard. Uh, I am not an extrovert kind of person. I'm very much an introvert. So I was kind of like, without like lack of a better word, like not scared, but apprehensive, anxious about like going off on my own into this new area. Um, I didn't really speak the language. I don't really speak the language now I'm still learning but then not much at all and um, going out on your own on adventures was a little nerve-wracking in the beginning but we've been here for 10 months and I've made friends which is a whole new arena I think I might talk about that um, in a separate video and um, Jean has made friends. There's a whole group of black people that are here that we kind of get together every now and then. Uh, so you have that kind of community aspect. The, our Mexican neighbors are great people and have been extremely friendly and welcoming to us. So there's a lot, there's a lot of community here that has improved my mental health. But I feel like being here with the amount of time that I have available, 
Um, it allowed me to deal with some really deep issues um, like, you know, who I am as a person now that all of my children are adults. I spent so much time being someone's mother and someone's wife that once my children became grown-ups, I'm left with this one identity and we're off doing our own thing. So those kind of changes have been hard and they're all works in progress. So that's what I've been working on. Um, I journal regularly and just to keep my write my thoughts down. I hang out with my um, girls here and try to find ways of, um, try to find things that I want, things that I'm interested in, things that I want to explore. And Mexico has been great for that. I've really, I feel like this is a great place for me to be in and a great place for me to figure out who I am as a person to help me get to that next phase in my life. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. If you missed anything, I will summarize it right now. The too long, don't listen version is health changes since I've been here. One, weight loss. Two, normal cycle. Three, menopause four, endurance, and five, mental health. So thank you for tuning in. And until next time, bye. I forgot one more thing. I don't even know how I forgot this. Um, I went to the doctor back in February because I wanted to see how my thyroid was doing. Uh, I stopped taking my medication for a few months because I wanted it to be out of my system so I can really understand how it was doing. Uh, I went, she ordered a bunch of tests for me. Listen, a bunch of tests. I've never had this many tests ordered for me in the States and uh, I'm still hyperthyroid, back on medication, which is fine. But why did I go do the blood work on a like Thursday morning and by Thursday evening, I received 11 page report. That's unheard of. Like I received the 11 page report. It was in Spanish, but easy to decipher. Uh, that blew me away. I am no longer anemic, which is amazing. I have been anemic since 1998, since my daughter was born. And now, since I've been in Mexico, I am no longer anemic. Amazing results right there. Two, um, when I went to the doctor, she, um, with my paperwork, with all my blood work, she went over every single item on that uh, report. Every single item. Explained it in detail. The appointment was like an hour and a half long. My goodness. Uh, um, so yeah, I am no longer anemic since I've been here. That has been completely resolved. I don't know what resolved, maybe because I'm no longer having my cycle since I'm in perimenopause or menopause. But either way, yay me. Uh, I'm happy about not being anemic because anemia leads to so many other health issues uh, when your body's not getting the amount of blood it needs. So that's it. Thank you.